we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves in each other. Do you have a, a, a metaphor or something that works for you to describe the experience of empathy in a metaphorical terms? I don't think I do. <laughs> I like the word presence. Mm -hmm. the, the first three letters of the word presence are the suffix, meaning that which comes before, pre, and the root of the word means to be, the S-E-N from Latin. So presence is that that we are before anything else, before we do anything, before we have a sense of our own identity, before we have any intention or make any movement. So presence is not something that I need to train. It's not a skill. I don't accumulate presence or the ability to be present. And yet it is in some way a practice, or rather it is a practice not to interfere with presence and allow it to be in a way that is fuller and fuller and more and more visible to someone else. So my understanding is that when I connect empathically to someone else, what I'm doing is I'm turning up the volume on my presence in such a way that it includes them. And I'm inviting them to experience me as being fully present with them. I may be judging them, I probably am, in my case, judging them, making some kind of diagnosis, believing that they should change in some way, agreeing with them or disagreeing with them. Whether I'm doing that or not doesn't seem to make an effect on the quality of presence. What makes an effect is where do I focus my attention? Do I focus my attention on that constant stream of judgment that I have in my head? Or do I focus my attention on the place in which they and I connect? our common humanity, that which we share. When I focus my attention there, things begin to shift, or at least the invitation for them to shift is clearly on the table. So that's, that, that's my experience of, of, of empathy while, while I'm experiencing it as something live and dynamic happening between us. And the way that I connect to the meaning in that is through remembering what the word presence is, is pointing to. It doesn't seem, it's uh, not quite a metaphor in terms of turning it into, um, <laughs> into a, <clears throat> like some kind of an image or something in terms of the experience. Uh, so I'm, uh, do you mind if I kind of uh, try something else with that? In sure. terms of, if empathy was a type of uh, animal, what kind of an animal would it be? I heard you say animal, but what I saw was a plant, so I'm going to answer in that sense. When, when, I'm, when I'm taking care of a, where, of a plant, the plant's on my balcony, then what I'm interested in is what supports them to grow. So uh, empathy is like this superfood. It's, it's not exactly sunshine, it's not exactly water, it's not exactly the soil. It's, it's something else which imbues all of these and creates the conditions for, for growth. I want it to be silently, invisibly or visibly present, not simply in moments in which someone is experiencing pain and would really like to be heard. I'd like it to be the baseline from which I establish relationships when they don't exist, care for those relationships when they do exist, and heal those relationships that have been, uh, that have been diminished in some way by distance, by distrust, by by separation and disagreement. So it's, 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 a, it's a quality of, of nutrition that human beings and perhaps humans and animals can exchange, which creates the conditions for, for growth, for movement, for, for, for that which takes us deeper into a sense of, of living together, of being one.